a person contacted me on the Galaxy's Edge Discord server about some odd behavior their droid was exhibiting when trying to do a factory reset based on a previous video of mine. The problem ultimately turned out to be battery related, which leads me to this video. I want to take a look at how droids behave when the batteries are at different voltage levels. So to do that, I have removed the bottom half of my BB units motivator. There's the control logic board there. Tuck that back underneath. I did that so I could hook up the, uh, the droid circuitry to my bench power supply. That's these wires coming out here, then run back to my power supply, which is off camera. I also have a multimeter here hooked up as well. This shows you the voltage that is being fed into the BB unit. Uh, quick note that while I'm testing with my BB unit, uh, all the stuff that I show you here in this video also applies to our unit droids. So here is the power switch for turning the BB unit on and off. Right next to it is a LED that is used to indicate when the droid is in pairing mode. And then a button beneath that, which when the droid is on and you hold that down for a few seconds, will put the droid into pairing mode so you can pair it with a remote. Uh, worth noting is that the uh, power switch here disconnects the batteries from the circuitry inside of the uh, BB unit and R unit. Why that's important is if you allow your droid to automatically shut off after a few minutes of inactivity, even though the droid is off, there is still power going to the circuitry. Power is being drained from your batteries very slowly, but it's being drained. And over time, your batteries are going to go flat. Whenever you're done using your droid, make sure you power it off and you're going to save your batteries. So currently, I have my BB unit here hooked up to my power supply and it's running at 9 volts. So I'm going to turn the, uh, the droid on. And I'll press a button on the remote. It's already paired just to show you everything is working as expected. It's on. I press a button. It makes a noise. Totally expected behavior. Nothing out of the ordinary. Now I'm going to drop the power going into it down to 8 volts, which you can now see on the multimeter here. And I'm going to power this back on. Push a button. Same behavior, no problems, exactly as it's supposed to operate. Nothing out of the ordinary. I turn that off. And now I'm going to drop it down to 7 volts, which you can see here, which is registering slightly below 7 volts. Close enough. Now I'm going to power the droid on. And when I do that, watch the LED here. This is a rapid... Yeah. It was a rapid series of blinks, and then the droid shut itself off. The noise that you heard playing is the noise that the droid plays whenever it automatically shuts itself off. And if I try to do anything here with my remote, it does nothing. What's happening is uh, that when the droid is powered on, it's checking the battery voltage. And if it detects that the voltage is below some threshold, which appears to be 7 volts it shuts itself off automatically. We were given two signs that the droid was shutting itself off. The first was the rapid blinking of that LED there, and also the noise that it played. So if you ever notice that your droid stops responding to your remote, go over to it, turn it off, and then on again, and watch for that LED, and listen. And you'll have two signs indicating whether or not your droid uh, needs its batteries to be replaced. The same thing again will happen with our units. It's just the LED and the pairing button. They're on the underside of it, but the same exact behavior will happen. Now, I want to look at something that's uh, a little bit more obscure. It's what I call factory reset mode. I covered how to do this in a previous video, but I'm going to go over it again here. Factory reset mode will reset your droid so that it thinks that it has never been paired with a remote. In other words, the droid behaves as if it is still in Droid Depot 
waiting to be activated for the very first time. The only reason I've ever needed to put my droid into factory reset mode is when I'm testing a custom personality chip and I want to test the activation sound, which only ever plays the first time a droid is paired with a remote. It is the sound that plays when your droid is being activated while it's in the activation bay at Droid Depot. So I'm going to put my power supply back to 9 volts, and to perform a factory reset, I'm going to make sure that the droid is powered off, and then while holding down the pairing button, and this is a tight fit for uh, BB droids, but while holding that button down, I'm going to power it on. You're going to notice this LED here is going to blink twice. Eventually, it takes about 10 seconds. But now, the droid is in factory reset mode. Now the droid is waiting to be paired with a remote. So to do that, I then put the droid into a pairing mode by holding down the button again. You see that light is fading in and out. I can come over to my remote here to make sure it's powered off. And then holding the forward and accessory buttons, power the remote back on. And the remote is now paired with the droid, and you heard that activation noise that I was talking about before. Now let's try that whole process again, this time at 8 volts. So you can see we're at 8 volts. I'm going to hold down the pairing button, and then turn it on, and I'm going to wait for about 10 seconds. This time you're going to notice that LED blinks once. Or actually it'll blink twice, but then something else is going to happen. every couple of seconds it's doing a very quick blink. Now if I try to put it into pairing mode, I'm going to hold this button down, and when I do that, you're going to see this LED, it's going to fade in once, just like when uh, it was in going into pairing mode the first time. Uh, but then it's going to quickly cut back to this uh, every couple of seconds doing a fast blink. Now, even though it's reverted back to this blinking uh, state, you can still pair the remote. So, do that. Turn the remote on. So, the remote is paired. It's operating as expected. And you'll also notice the blinking has stopped. The blinking only happens when the droid is in that factory reset mode. Once it's paired with the remote, it doesn't blink anymore. Now let's go down to 7 volts and see what happens. Finger on the pairing button, turning it on. One blink. And then instead of a second blink, I got a series of rapid flashes and now that's it. I didn't hear anything. Uh, if I try to hold this button down for any length of time, it doesn't matter. It's not going to do anything because the droid has shut off. It is just like what happened earlier. When the voltage of the batteries goes below some threshold, 7 volts, the droid will automatically shut itself off. That is what happened here. I went to put it into factory reset mode. It started that process and then shut itself down when it detected that the batteries were too low. So what's happening? At 7 volts, we see the same behavior in factory reset mode as when the droid was paired with a remote, which is, it turns on, it detects that the batteries are too low, it flashes the light, and then turns itself off. The only difference is, in factory reset mode, we didn't hear any sounds. At 8 volts, we saw that every couple of seconds a, fa a fast blink happen. Um, and it only happened when the droid was in factory reset mode. Once it was paired with a remote, the blinking went away. Uh, so what's that about? I think the purpose of that blinking pattern is to alert cast members in Droid Depot that a motivator has batteries that, that aren't fresh, that probably should be replaced. It gives them a chance to take the motivator 
backstage and replace it or at least the batteries so that way every droid that leaves droid depot has a fresh set of batteries so it's going to perform as expected as long as you're wandering around in the park I think the rapid blinking before the droid shuts itself off is also being used for that purpose. But since the droids will also use that rapid blinking when they automatically shut off outside of factory reset mode, it means that we get to use that feature too to identify when the batteries in your droid are too low and need to be replaced. So that's what I wanted to share about droids and batteries. Hopefully this video made some sense and helps other droid owners know when they've got a bad but repairable motivator.